Hey Brain Munchers, it's your helpful zombie here with another Sims 4 video. So it's a pretty common event that when I'm looking through comments on Facebook, Reddit, or the internet in general, I see people complain about being bored with The Sims and feeling meh. Well, I kind of wanted to try my hand at cheering those folks up and giving you guys some creative ideas for interesting gameplay that doesn't require mods. So let's hop right into it. First, let's talk clubs. Clubs are so overlooked that it's shameful in my opinion. I mean, you can create some very interesting and weird groups. You can have a group for homework so your kids and teens get their homework done, but also have fun with their friends, so consider being the cool house where all your Sims kids friends come and hang out to do homework, deck out a game room and desk, and live your dreams of being the cool mom or dad. <laughs> Make a club for scouts that enjoy camping and outdoor activities. What about a dance company that you can even build a dance studio lot for them to hang at? Just take a dive into club creation and have fun with it basically is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> You'll be able to indulge in club points and traits and probably have some experiences you didn't even know about. Let's talk packs. When purchasing DLC, try to stop barreling through it with the same family or type of family that you always use. Embrace the new items, experiences, animations, places, and more by telling yourself a story of adventure through the eyes of someone else. And explore it organically with your sim instead of cheating your way to the end of the pack or cheating your skills to find out what happens at the end of a career or hobby. We've all done it, it's cool, but try to take your time, have fun. On the gallery, we have an endless supply of fun lots created by fellow simmers. I mean, it's amazing how many there are. Take some time, be like me, and on some of my lazy days, I comb through the community lots available. And you can find some really interesting places to visit with your sims, like Hogwarts, real life restaurants, I saw Starbucks, <laughs> and uh, locations for movies and more. Just explore, type in your favorite movie title, and see if anything pops up. When playing The Sims, we sometimes have the habit of creating Sims in our own image, which is cool, but that can lead to an accidentally one-shaded world, and that's kind of boring. So download or create some Sims with different genders, races, and more. Pick someone on Instagram that you think is a pretty full human and model a sim after them. While you're at it, step out of your comfort zone and give your sim one or two bad traits you've never explored before. They're there for entertainment and story reasons, so stop playing it safe and giving yourself a perfect sim. Make them a crime lord with a dislike for children or a vegetarian businessman who's also a kleptomaniac. <laughs> Do weird stuff, that's what The Sims is for. If you do decide to download Sims off the gallery, why not take a look for Celebrity Sims? This can lead to some pretty fun interactions if you place them in your world, because, well, you'll run into them and maybe have a weird or fun relationship. Either way, it's fun to randomly see Melanie Martinez or Serge Tankian pop up in your world. Try it out. Last but definitely not least, take advantage of roommates. A lot of us wanted to see this so bad and yet I see people barely ever talk about it. Roommates are a really fun way to have interactions within your home with another sim that you don't have to be responsible for. So you could make a bed and breakfast, which is one of my newest ideas, and I think I'm gonna have a blast doing that this weekend. You could make a hotel. You could do all kinds of different things and have a lot of fun with the roommates feature. So try to get to know the sims before agreeing to let them move in. Pick an obnoxious, mean, or straight up weird one to see how you can balance that situation out with your sim. There's so much we can do in The Sims, but sometimes we get caught up in what we already know about or what we've already experienced and we keep doing the same thing over and over. I know there are those of us that wish for the old days of open world fun and more lots to build or play on, but if you're several DLCs into Sims 4, try to take a step away from your usual playstyle, and maybe you can see a new side of the game you haven't before. This recently happened to me, which is why I decided to make this video. I hope these suggestions will give you a new fun way to play your Sims. Let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions or if you tried any of these. Thank you guys so much for watching this far. If you're new here, please consider hitting the subscribe button to see more videos like this and beyond. I'm obsessed with The Sims and other games that let me do what I want, basically. <laughs> 
to my brain munchers thank you guys so much for being a part of my zombie family leave me some comments and let me know you're doing well and staying healthy okay guys i've talked enough thanks so much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you i'm zombie girl and i'll see you later bye